What will maximize we know? Solve this equation. x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. How should we solve it? Of course, the left hand side is much more complicated than the right hand side. The right hand side is just a number. 100. Is it lucky? We don't know. We only know that 100 is a square number. It is 10 squared. We can try writing this 100 as 10 squared. The left hand side is x to the power of x to the power of 5, and the right hand side is just 10 squared. I have a question. What is the relationship between 2, 5, and 10? Of course, it is very easy for you. 2 then times 5, it is 10. That means I'm going to multiply by 5 on this exponent of the right hand side. For the next step, I have a formula. That is, a to the power of b, then times c, it is equal to a to the power of b, all to the power of c, it is also equal to a to the power of c first, and then the exponent is b. Now, a is 10, b is 2, and we are going to find a number c. And we can let c equal 5. But because a to the power of b times c, it is equal to a to the power of b, then a to the power of c, that means we should take a fifth power on the both hand sides. That's the only way that we should do. The left hand side is still, the base is still x to the power of x to the power of 5. And then the large exponent is 5. The right hand side, because we have written this 100 as 10 squared, so it is 10 squared, and then all to the power of 5. Very good. For following steps, we should use this formula again and again. x to the power of x to the power of 5, and then all to the power of 5. Now you have to know the order to calculate. For the base, we should calculate x to the power 5 first, and the exponent of x, it is x to the power 5. That means we should calculate x to the power 5 first, and then raise it to the base x. So this is the order for us to calculate this kind of terms. Now the left hand side is the form a to the power of b, and then also the power of c. a is this x, b is x to the power 5, and c is this 5 the exponent. So it is equal to a to the power of b times c. Or you can just write it directly as a to the power of c and then a to the power of b. So let's do it. It is a to the power of c, a is this x. The base in this space. So it is really interesting. And then c is this 5 x to the power of 5. The big exponent is c. c it is x to the power of 5. So now, so now you can see that our base and our exponent are same, x to the power of 5. Aren't they? The right hand side, 10 to the power of 2, then all to the power of 5, it is also the form a to the power of b, and then or to the power of c. Now we have to use this is equal to this, this formula. It is equal to a 10 to the power of b times c, 2 times 5, it is 10. So now you can see, the base and the exponent also have the same value, 10. The left hand side and the right hand side, they both have the form something raised to the power of itself. Of course, we can decide the value of x now. So now we can get x to the power of 5, it is equal to 10. Therefore, we can get x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. And then, what's the value of x? Because 5, it is odd. 
So there is only one real root. That is positive the fifth root of 10. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.